my friend on the other side of this camera, you've been hurt, you've been shattered, you gave your all to this friend and they betrayed you and that sucks. But I'm also here to tell you that not everyone is out to get you. YouTube family, Abby here, and I want to tell you that you, my friend, are a child of God. Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. So we are back and we are talking about kingdom friendships. So let's get into it. I love the topic of kingdom friendships because I am such a girl's girl and I am a huge advocate on kingdom friendships. And basically you're asking Abby, what are kingdom friendships? Basically, kingdom friendships are people that you meet like with Jesus or you meet with God at church, etc. And they're just people that lift you up. If I get the definition wrong, there will be a definition here of what a kingdom friendship is. A lot of people have been asking me to make this video and I have been really nervous because I wanted to do it as a podcast and basically have someone come in and talk about kingdom friendships. And I realized that I have friendships in different places, if that makes sense. So I have like my best friend Gabby and then I have like Priscilla and then I have Genesis I have my nugget Crystal here in California I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the journey of me finding kingdom friendships here in a new city but then also I know you many of you guys are trying to look to make community at church but also to talk about how to make friends in general so maybe maybe this isn't a video that you want to watch of like kingdom friendships you're like how do i find things in the kingdom maybe you're just like a normal human and you're like how do i make a friend honestly i'm gonna tell you guys this story. i'm like i'm such a youtuber where i answer questions by telling stories in high school there was this one moment that i was in chorus and there was a bunch of kids sitting there and they all had little groups right they were all like the jocks were over here the pretty people were over here the dorks were over here and like i was dork so i was like sitting over and i was quiet and everyone had their little group and i felt so lonely i felt so shy i was like the holy spirit that god was speaking to me and he was like he literally told me this phrase he's like no one will ever come up to you but you have to go up to someone else. That rocked me. I was like, whoa, no one's gonna come up to me? Okay, God, from then on, he was like, you're gonna start going up to people and you're gonna start talking to them. And he gave me little strategies on how to break the ice. And you know, if you're from church, they basically say like, go up to someone and say, hey, I like your shoe, I like your hat, I like your dress. And then people take compliments, they're like, oh, thank you so much. I realized through talking to someone, you would ask them, hey, like, what did you major in, etc. I feel so strongly that there are no shy people. People will disagree, but people, people are only shy if they're uncomfortable in a situation. There are times where I'm shy and I, when I'm uncomfortable in a situation, I'm just quiet. But then there are other times where I'm like, blah, 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 because I am comfortable. I'm the life of the party. I know people. It's great. But you just have to like, number one, smile, right? Be approachable. Number two, go up to people and talk to them. Even if like you have like the craziest conversation, do it. Like you never know. That could be a great friendship. Number three, invest time. Invest time in people and you know, look, they'll hurt you. They won't hurt you. People do people things. But at the end of the day, you are a person and you do people things too. What are some qualities in a person that makes it worth starting a friendship with them? So whoever I spend time with like there's purpose you know whether the purpose is to talk about pop culture whether the purpose is to talk about god whether the purpose is to grow your community you need to figure out what you like and if that person can correlate with you you want to find someone that number one shares the same values as you number two honestly can laugh with you and like joke around and be like a good person number three discern and see if they have if, if they like pass the vibe check like see if they're like a good kingdom friendship see if they're like someone that will lift you up when you're down see time will test it and you just have to see and honestly like your gut feeling is probably the best how to make friends at church number one start serving somewhere like serve somewhere literally whether it's in media, whether it's in dance, whether it's in the ushers, whether it's somewhere. Serve somewhere where you like. What are you passionate about? Let's start there. What are you passionate about? If you're passionate about dance, serve and dance. Be approachable. Like, smile. Don't go home right after church ends. Go out to eat. <laughs> 
not all the time because church 50 is a thing go and enjoy company of people like make friends be open be open to people i remember someone told me this they're like you're not gonna find your husband at home you're gonna find him out there you gotta go out you gotta see the world and number three if you're not trustworthy no one's gonna trust you so if someone tells you a secret, don't go off and tell people about it. Even if it's your best friend, keep it to yourself. That's how people are gonna trust you. When you respect their boundaries and you respect their words. Like don't go gossiping about other people because that sucks. How to make friends in a new city. Well, for me, I went to church. I made friends. For me, I went out and I did activities and I made friends. I literally drove an hour to go to the OC for a worship event and I, came back with a bunch of numbers and I was like, oh, whoa, <laughs> hey, <laughs> friend. I'm literally going to a friend's birthday this Wednesday and we're gonna do a photo shoot and it's her birthday and we're gonna celebrate and it's just so exciting. Like you make friendships that way. We're meant to be relational. And honestly, I think the last thing is just take the time. Take time to build connection and make time to build friendships. Like when friends hurt you and you're closed off to making new friendships, what to do? So I feel this really strongly because I have been in my fair share of friendship breakups and friendship breakups suck. I was talking to my friend the other day and I feel like friendship breakups are worse than breakup breakups because you invest time in your girls. Like there was this TikTok that was saying, everyone wants their Conrad and Jeremiah, but I found my Susanna. And basically from the summer I turned pretty, if you know, you know. Susanna and Laurel are two best friends and they found each other and they go through life together, right? You, you wanna find your Susanna. You wanna find people that will help you grow. My friend on the other side of this camera, You've been hurt. You've been shattered. You gave your all to this French and they betrayed you. And that sucks. But I'm also here to tell you that not everyone is out to get you and not everyone is out to hurt you. You will find new people. You will find people that will benefit you. You will find people that will help you grow into the person that you're meant to be. And maybe God has to strip you away from all your other friendships and take you out of things that you didn't want to go into this new season, but let God do it. You're gonna find people that are on the same wavelength as you. You're gonna find people that maybe like books like you do, or maybe like music like you do. So I wanna encourage you is, like I said before, go out after service. Stand in the hallways, meet people, smile. I don't know, go up to a random person you haven't even talked to and ask them like what their, where their shoes are from. Maybe they're a huge shoe person and you're a huge sh shoe person. Shout out to Kicks by Ricks. And you are a sh huge shoe person. You wanna grow your shoe game and you meet someone like that and then they help you in your business. You never know who you can meet. I recommend you to just open up your heart again and to see people the way that God sees them. I know that people suck and I know that people have hurt you because people have hurt me in the past and I have hurt people in the past and I can say that. Like in, in your mind, someone else will be the villain, but in their mind, you are the villain in their story. Find someone that doesn't villainize you and find someone that accepts you for who you are. In all friendships, it's like give and take. So it's like how much you're giving is how much you should be receiving. Number seven, qualities of a kingdom friendship. Someone that's real, someone that's prayerful, someone that will read the word with you, someone that will grab you out of your crap and be like, hey, Abby, get up, you're in a funk, go pray, go read the word. Sometimes you need people to take you out of your crap because sometimes we're so in our mind that we need a kingdom friendship to be able to build us, to be able to help us grow, to help us do things. And I just feel so strongly that there's someone out there for you. There's a kingdom friendship that will help you through your crap but you have to be open to it. And maybe you'll go through a bunch of frogs to get to your princess, but like maybe you'll go through a bunch of bad people. But when you find that handful of people or like hand of one or two people that will build you up, that's all you need. I would rather have a handful of great people in my life than have a billion people that don't give a crap about me. I would rather spend my birthday with like one or two people that genuinely care about me than spend my birthday with tens of thousands of people that don't even know it's my party. You invest in people that you see purpose in. And I think that helps. 
that is my kingdom friendship stories and that is my journey to finding kingdom friendships in a new city finding friendships in a new city finding kingdom friendships at church i recommend you guys just to open your hearts up and comment down your best friend comment down below people that you care about and that you will ride or die with <laughs> not die hopefully know someone that needs this video or needs someone that needs kingdom friendships share this video with them share this video with a friend that you're like hey this girl's giving really good advice and yeah so with that being said i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel follow me on social media will be linked down below i am abby i am a faith-based content creator and i hope that these videos have been giving you some joy some love some jesus and we're here to bring jesus back to the internet so if you guys want a part two on my podcast let me know of people that you recommend me to interview and i would love to have them on my podcast and just talk to them about friendships i love friendships i am a girl's girl i'm here for the girls i am a girl's girl so we love girl dinner okay i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye